Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 7th of September 2023. I hope you are keeping well. It's time for my game of Sudoku at bedtime. I haven't played one of these for a long time. Well I have, kind of, but I haven't played a... It's just been a regular game as opposed to a, a, a supplementary puzzle. And today I have what I hope is going to be a treat. I have absolutely no idea what this is going to be like though. Um, but this is from our uh, prolific um, commenter and uh, resident, um, one of our resident uh, notation-free geniuses, or should that be genie? I think we have a couple on uh, in the comments section who managed to play most of the games without notation, uh, pencil marks, I mean, uh, which I absolutely cannot do <laughs> and and I'm not sure that I'm, I ever will be able to or would even try to do but uh, anyway this is from uh, Julian uh, so thank you Julian and uh, he did send me this some time ago and it's apparently his variation of a puzzle that appeared on uh, Cracking the Cryptic so it's a nice uh, design nice uh, uh, pattern that you can see on the on the screen um, to begin with um, and he says that it's part of a GAS series. Now, I had no idea what this is because I stopped watching Cracking the Cryptic a long time ago, to be honest with you. But um, apparently that stands for Genuinely Approachable Sudoku. So uh, I th hope that means <laughs> anyone can do it. <laughs> but I have absolutely no idea what it really means uh, in practical terms. Uh, we will find out, I suppose. Um, so uh, thanks, Julian, for this. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. You can find the link in the description, and which will lead you directly to this SudokuExchange.com. Already, digits already filled in, so a luxury with this game. Normally, I can't uh, send you the the link, the the um, Sudoku Exchange links directly, uh, but with this one, I can. All uh, right. So, shall we get on with the game? Um, I can see what I think are a couple of things, this kind of pattern along this, the middle here. So let's begin. Uh, so what have I noticed? I can see the two blocking down like this. So let's put twos into those squares blocking across here. Let's extend that across with a two up there. Um, that then in turn is going to put twos skyward with a two across here and a two up there. Twos lead back in this direction and a two up there. So there's our two, two blocking down here and down here and across. Oh, it seems like I started with the right number, doesn't it? Two there and two, yes. Oh, that's, a, that's very fortunate to start with that. That was a good choice. Uh, serendipity there, I think. Okay, two goes there. Uh, I, say, I say that because I did spot something else going in the opposite direction, right? I, I also spotted the three while I was chatting to you, telling you about who sent me the video, three is blocking across like this and a three down here. So I did spot the two and the three going across the middle at the beginning, but that's all I saw. We've got three coming down like this and down like this, and that now is going to give us a three in that square there. Can we do any more? Probably not on the threes. Uh, but we have seven. This central block seems to be where the action is man so let's put our seven there and we've got sevens going across here and up here and across like so there's our seven and we'll continue with the sevens going up like this and across there like this I don't know what I'm I have no idea what genuinely approachable Sudoku means so far it's been pretty approachable I would agree but I have no idea how it's how difficult it's going to get <laughs> in a moment I have a feeling I'm suspicious three blocks across here three blocks up here so we will place our three there um, uh, six blocks across here so we'll have six in that square and we may as well continue with the sixes across like this and a six down there which will give us six here and six down there and six across there so there's a six six this way this way and this way so there's our six and i think sixes then will occupy two of those four squares up there uh something to go in the middle here and that's a nine i guess um
So the five blocks this square here, so that'll be a five there. And we may as well finish this row with an eight. We have eight blocking across here, so we'll get eight up there. Missing digits down here, one, four, nine. And missing digits up here are also 149. Is that right? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> so then this has got to be a 5, hasn't it? Okay, missing did. Oh no, made a mistake. Made a mistake, made a mistake, made a mistake, made a mistake. Okay, let's uh, click on the digits and see if we can see something to our advantage. Oh, two's done. Two is actually finished. Oh, so the five blocking down here and five across here puts five into those two squares blocking across there and there and the five down here will give me a five here five up here five up here there's our five and now I know I needed five for these two squares because of these fives here so now we can see five blocking there and that must be our five then five this way that way and up there will give me a five there and down to the bottom so goodbye five Okay, now we have three going up here and across here. So there's a three, three across this way, across this way, up there. There's another three we can place. And that's done. Two, three, and five are finished, FYI. Four blocks this square and this square, so we'll get a four over here uh, four blocking down here and four across here puts four into one of those squares so this can't be four that must be four 
our one blocks down here so here's our one and this will be our nine to finish that little row there or that block whichever way you want to look at it um, we have one down here and down here now so there's our digit one one blocking across here gives us one in those squares so one up there and one blocking here there's our one and this here is a nine of course um, six blocks this square along the bottom so we need a six up there and we'll put a nine down the bottom here to finish the column oh look there's an empty square there let's fill that with a nine shall we nine and blocking across this way puts a nine up there nine down here means this is a nine Uh, a 9 across this way and this way gives us a 9 here or just look to see the missing digit there 9 blocking down like this and across here so there's our 9 there's one number to go here which is 4 let's put that in 4 blocks down here here's our 4 this would be a 1 I believe we have 149 didn't we um, okay not much more to go now there's an empty square up here hey what do we need uh, I think we need a half dozen there we go and that was the last six as well okay missing across here we're looking for one four eight uh, we have a one and an eight not sure about the four just yet um, what else are we looking for down in the bottom here? What's left to get here? 4 and 8 here. Uh, but the 4 blocking down here and across here means 4 must, must be one of these squares. So that can't be 4. That's our 4. That's our 8. 8 across here. 8 down here. There's an 8. 8 across here and across here. There's our 8. The last number to place here is a 1. The last number to get down here is a 7. 7 blocking all the way across there. There's our final digit, 7. 1 blocking down here. There's our 1. 1 to the top and up there. There's our 1. Uh, here we're looking for a 4 to complete the column and an 8 for the block, I think. And back down here four finishes the grid so that's our genuinely approachable sudoku the first time i've ever tried one of those thank you julian for that uh nice puzzle nicely neatly designed i like the sh shape and the pattern it was certainly approachable i think a lot of people can try that one and get that one done uh, uh okay that's it i'll see you tomorrow bye bye